Hello and welcome. Today we have another question on the board and we're asked to find the value of x and y. Let us proceed with the solution to this question. We have x plus y equals 4, x, y equals 16. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. So now let us rewrite equation 1 such that y is now equal to 4 minus x. And we got this equation 3 by moving x from the left hand side over to the right hand side. Now let us substitute this value of y which is 4 minus x into equation 2 meaning that wherever we find y, we replace it with 4 minus x. So let us do that. We have x, bracket open 4 minus x equals 16. If we expand the bracket, we have 4x minus x squared is equal to 16. Um, if we rewrite this, we have x squared plus 4x equals 16. Now let's move 16 over to the right hand side, sorry, to the left hand side from the right hand side. And then we have x squared plus 4x minus 16 is equal to 0. Now if we multiply everything we have on the left hand side and right hand side by minus 1, we get x squared minus 4x plus 16 equals 0. Now we multiplied by minus 1 so that our x squared can have a positive sign. So now we have a quadratic equation and what two numbers can we multiply to get positive 16 and when we add we get um, negative 4. 4 times 4 is 16 minus 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 4 minus 4 will give us positive 16, but minus 4 and minus 4, adding both, will give us minus 8. 8 times 2 is 16. If we do the same thing, positive, uh, minus 8 minus 2 will give us um, positive 16. But um, if we add, we're going to get minus 10. So we have to use our quadratic formula that states that our x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So now from here, our a is equal to 1, which is this, and our b is equal to minus 4, and our c is equal to 16. So we actually got this from ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. This is the actual equation. So now we can see if we um, kind of uh, match this side by side, we see that our a represents 1, which is not written there. Our b here represents minus 4, and our c represents 16. That's how we got that. So let's um, plug in the values of a, b, and c into our quadratic formula. So we have our b is minus 4, minus 4. We have plus or minus the square root of our b is minus 4, so it's minus 4 squared, minus 4 times a times c is 16, all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So now we have that x is equal to minus times minus here will give us positive, so that's just 4, plus or minus square root of Minus 4 squared is going to give us 16 minus 4 times 1 is 4. 
16 times 4 will give us what? 6 times 4 is 24. This is 64. Divided by 2. Now, we have that our x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 64 from 16 will give us 48. So we have negative 48 divided by 2. Now this is the same thing as saying that x is equal to 4 plus or minus root of minus 1 times root of 48 divided by 2. Let's break down 48 and see if we can get the square root of anything out of it. So we have 2 here is 24, 2 here is 12, 2 here is 6, 2, 3, 3, 1. 3 times 2 is 6, 12, 24, 48. Now, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So we have 16 times 3. Square root of 16 is going to give us 4. So that's good. 16 times 3. So we represent 48 by writing 16 times 3. Okay? Now we have 4 plus or minus square root of minus 1 root 16 times root 3 divided by 2. We know that i squared is equal to minus 1. And if we take the square root of both sides, our i now becomes the square root of minus 1. So anywhere you see minus 1, you represent it with i. So x is now equal to 4 plus or minus i. Square root of uh, 16 is 4, then root 3 divided by 2. So this now becomes 4 plus or minus i 4 root 3 divided by 2. Now let's break this up. It now becomes 4 divided by 2, right? 4 divided by 2 plus or minus i 4 root 3 divided by 2. 2 here will go 1, 2 here is 2, 2 here is 1, 2 here is 2. So now this becomes 2 plus i 2 root 3. Sorry, plus or minus. Now, therefore x1 is equal to 2 plus i 2 root 3. And then x2 is 2 minus i 2 root 3. These are the values for x1 and y1. Now let's recall. We we'll recall that from our equation 3. Recall that y is equal to 4 minus x from equation 3. y is equal to 4 minus x. Now we know that x1 is equal to 2 plus i2 root 3. And x2 is equal to 2 minus i2 root 3. Let's try to solve this side by side. So therefore, our y1 now is equal to 4 minus 2 plus i2 root 3. And our y2 is equal to 2. Sorry, is equal to 4 minus 2 minus i2 root 3. Okay, so now y1 
is equal to four. Let's open up this uh, bracket. To expand the bracket, we'll multiply it through by the minus sign, becomes minus two. Minus times plus will give us minus i two root three. Y one is equal to four minus two will give us two minus i two root three. Now if we go over to y2, we expand the bracket, multiplying through by minus sign, it becomes minus two, minus times minus, will give us positive i2 root three. So y2 is equal to four minus two, will give us two, plus i2 root three. These are our answers for y1 and y2. Therefore, our x1 is equal to 2 plus i 2 root 3 and y1 is equal to 2 minus i 2 root 3. And then we'll go on to the next one, our x2. x2 is 2 minus i 2 root 3 and then y2 is equal to 2 plus i 2 root 3. These four answers are the correct answers to our question. So if you enjoyed watching this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, do subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye-bye.